I did some some artwork over the years. I now do full color pen and inks. Uh, this is one starting up. I, I work for photographs and also throw in stuff out of the top of my head. Uh, and then I take these and I turn them into videos. I do outward designs. They're kind of cool. That's another one with my wife Betty and our Porsche. I may have room to put a video on. This is a Rembrandt I forged. And then I decided to have James Dean draw it rather than me. And then I threw in a background to kind of spice things up. Uh, uh, traditional pen and ink, bug eye spray. But I like doing portraits. Like this was a beach bomb, Hampton Beach. Uh, I liked him. Rembrandt style. This is uh, my wife, Betty, uh, right after we got married from a photo. This is a photo of her before we got married. And this is a photo when she was in her 40s. This is my daughter, Christina, when she was in elementary school. Uh, this was a lady that worked at Harrisburg East Mall. She volunteered that. It, uh, won a prize at Harrisburg Art Show. That's Marilyn Monroe and a bomb. <laughs> a pen and ink I did of a picture from our kids in Mexico. Uh, this is a tribute to my dad. He was a engineer, test pilot, among other things, archer, hunter. This was just a cool dude that hung out at Harrisburg East Mall. I could talk to him into posing for a portrait. Those were in the 70s. Uh, this was in the 90s. I was carving alabaster. Uh, this was in the Northeast Regional Art Exhibit. Uh, didn't get any art, alabaster, any carving in grad school. Uh, the sculpture I did there was all constructive pieces. Uh, had act, oh, you'll see those. But anyhow, these were, uh, I enjoyed doing them. Kept my mind busy while I was running several stores in Pennsylvania. This is hanging wing I did for my master's degree. This was a race car I kind of put together. I was into racing for a while. This one I almost killed myself. So after having a minor mishap with it, I turned into one of my first sculptures. Uh, my sculptures were mostly a man's reaction to the technology of the times. But this is my first one-man show. That was one of my pieces. And also you can see my giant pool toy along the wall. This is the Fifth Street Gallery in Wilmington, Delaware. A uh, local art critic in Delaware, Wilmington, Otto Deckham, hated everything I did. Whenever I was in a show, he gave me a bad review, which we had a kind of a fight going. It was publicity. One of my more famous pieces, the Mini Mini Cooper. It was in Motor Trend magazine. Uh, Walnut Street Theater Invitational Show in Philly. It had electronics in it. Uh, you walk past it, the headlights would flash, and it would uh, play a recording of a V12 Jaguar engine out the back. This was mother seat. It was a aircraft ejection seat. Came from Snyder Baker Junkyard, Middletown. A lot of my parts mounted on a Fiat suspension and some other stuff. It had a pillow in the seat with uh, the poem "M is for Mother." Uh, my mother didn't like this one, but I used to keep it out in the University of Delaware parking lot. It would get attention. You know, I was an attention grabber. These things were fun to make. You'll see some more of this. There's one coming up. It's uh, Well, there it is. That one you just saw, you'll see it again. It had a camera in it, and I had a vacuum cleaner motor hooked up to the photo, so when you flip the light beam, the arms would reach out. Again, you're going to see it again in a couple of seconds. This is more a mother seat. But uh, when that one man show, they had it in the stairwell, and the maintenance man was walking up, and when the light beam tripped and the arms reached out, he fell down the steps. So they had to move it. So almost had a lawsuit in my first one man show, but the gentleman wasn't injured. So, And here it is again. Again, you can see the camera. That's where the electronics was. Inside the coat was a vacuum cleaner motor. It was pretty creepy. I liked creepy things. This one was creepy too. I had bicycle mirrors and a cockpit and a clothes. 
This was 353 Mercury car hoods, three T28 windshields. This was a nice one. Uh, I was in a uh, Bloomsburg one-man show at the university. Uh, Philly Civic Center Regional Sculpture Show, and also the University of Delaware Student Show was in. So my professor, I think, liked that one too. The next one coming up as you're looking at some of these was uh, recently, 2012, was it in the Delaware State Art Museum as an example of a piece of work from influential artists of Delaware in the 70s. They decided I was one of the influential artists. <laughs> this is our old family airplane, Blondie. Look at the propeller. My dad bent that propeller hitting another plane taxing and that propeller ended up in a sculpture. I called it Prop Top. And this was the one that was in the Delaware State Art Museum in 2012. Uh, I'm sure Otto Deckham, the art critic, who really hated this piece, was turning over in his grave for that art exhibit. Uh, I had a lot of publicity with my art. It was hard to make money with it. Nobody wanted to buy it. <laughs> World's longest pull toy. This thing would, f you could pull it real easy, and it would follow you around the parking lot. Uh, this was Rocket Rocket. My son used this for an album cover of one of his albums. At least he named his one band Rocket Rocket. And the other his first band he called Mother Seat. So he was using my sculpture for some of his art. This was one of my favorites. I wanted to mass produce a sculpture. So I made, I think, eight or nine of these. They were C-54 cargo plane wingtips, bicycle wheels. And I had a manufacturing facility at uh, DuPont. They had a computerized nibbler. They made those axle pieces for me and bent them so that everything was identical. And I'd arrange them different ways. I'd go out and play with them on the parking lot. I think the art playing with as much as making them. Uh, this is a publicity shot for the one-man show. Yeah, I had hair back then. I wasn't a hippie, but I looked like it. Didn't we all? There's my two of my pieces, the one along the wall is the pool toy. Then I started a pewter company after I graduated. I was designing belt buckles and things. I was in the Sears catalog. Uh, I had stuff I designed for Sears. Uh, the Gap, Swank Jewelry, uh, American Motors, General Motors, Ford Motors. Um, what, oh yeah, U.S. Secret Service. But these were, these were some of the pieces I did. I found these on eBay. They're selling.